Monster Hunter Now's global release is September 14th, and it's soft launch for some regions already, but here in America, it's not out yet. And I still have questions about the game, and I'm sure you do too. So here are 17-ish questions and answers about Monster Hunter Now. Is there a storyline in Monster Hunter Now? Yes. You create a character, and then immediately you meet a palico. And from there, you're thrown headfirst into the story. Storyline and immersion are super important to me when it comes to games. Even if the story is kind of like surface level, there is a story, and I don't want to spoil it because I hate spoilers. Can you play with others, or is this just a solo game? Yes, you can hunt with up to three other players, and they just have to be in your vicinity, and you don't have to have like a pass or anything, like a raid pass in Pokemon Go. You just click hunt with others instead of hunt solo, and if if there are others nearby and they accept the invite, then you can all hunt together. I'm sure the monster scales depending on how many players are there, just like in the main games. And I'm not sure if you can hunt small monsters together, but I don't really know why you would want to, because it only takes seconds. But essentially, you can play this game completely together with someone else the whole way through and fight every single monster together, except for urgent quests. Urgent quests are quests that the storyline takes you to where you have to hunt specific monsters, and currently you have to hunt those solo. It's probably like a power scaling thing. What about your palico? What does it do? Is it a he or a she? Do you get to name it? Can you customize it? Is there Palico armor that you can make like for the Palico like in the main games? So far I haven't seen anything like that for the game and I haven't seen any indication that the Palico fights with you. Canonically, it looks like this is a gathering exclusive Palico who helps you out through the storyline with different things and explanations and will help gather for you. While you play the game, it will wander around with you and collect mining points and bone piles and herbs and stuff like that. And it can also paintball monsters for you so you can fight them later. Your Palico can hold up to three paintballs at a time and I assume that refreshes every single day. So if you've been walking around that day, you'll have an automatic max of three monsters that you can fight later at home when you're not busy. But you have to have Adventure Sync on for that to work when the phone is locked or the app is closed. So make sure you do that when we get the game in like, I don't know, freaking half a month from now. You can throw paintballs of your own, and it looks like each paintball expires after like a day and a half. Not the item itself, but if you throw and mark a monster, then it's like a day and some change until the monster is like not in your inventory or lore wise, the paint has all worn off the monster and you can't track it anymore. Paintballs can be bought in the store and they'll also be rewards through storyline progression. What about sharpness? Can you sharpen in the game? I've seen the entire tutorial and I've watched a bunch of footage and I haven't seen sharpening at all. So unless like everyone's cutting it out or just doing it in their free time, I don't think sharpening is in the game at all. Rest in peace, whetstone. <laughs> Oh, what about healing? Well, luckily for our characters, but not me, there's no fall damage in the game. You'll obviously take damage if you get hit by a monster in battle. There's two ways to heal in the game. You can use a potion, which you can buy from the store, and they're also given out as rewards for completing quests. You'll also get a certain number of free potions every single day just for playing the game. That's awesome. I think that's really cool that they'll like replenish it. It's kind of like you went back to your camp, got some more potions, and then came back. And the other way to heal is to wait. After a certain amount of time, your health will automatically regen. I don't know if that's an hour, a day, what it is, but your health automatically does regenerate, which again, sick. And you don't cart in this game, you just kind of like, <laughs> and fall down. And even if you're like fully depleted on health, you can use a potion to revive yourself. Oh, I sure wish I had some armor for that. Speaking of which, you can craft armor. Using the monsters you slay in battle, Sorry, I just thought, I guess you can't capture monsters anymore. You can only murder them in this game. But either way, when you're done with that, you carve the monster lore-wise, and you collect its pieces. From its scales and sinew and teeth and all those kind of things, you can craft armor and weapons. Your crafted armor will have a numerical value for each piece, culminating in a defense score. And each piece will also have a certain set of skills. By my count, there's 41 total armor skills in the game, and each of the skills can be upgraded up to five times. There are no decorations in the game, and I think this is how they're kind of mitigating that by allowing your armor skills to just upgrade along with your armor as you upgrade it with like varying levels of like potency for the skills as you go up. I'm super excited to actually like dive into all of these and explain what they do, but I'm going to do that in a different video. How many monsters are in the game? I answered that in a different video. Which weapons are in the game? Also, different video. Also, thank you all so much for the love on that video and this channel in general. I've already made it to almost 40, sub 40 subscribe. 40 subscribers in like a month. So I'm genuinely, genuinely appreciative of all of you. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching that video and bringing it to like already a thousand views. Thank you. I also got a comment saying that I looked like the excitable A-lister. <laughs> I personally just don't see the resemblance. Are there limitations to like 
how and when you can hunt. What I mean is, is it gonna limit you if you don't have very strong armor or you just don't have any armor at all and you wanna do like a naked run? Well, it looks like the answer is no. It'll just tell you what your current equipment rating is and what the monster's rating is and compare the two and say like, you're probably not ready for this, but go for it if you want to. The only time I've seen that the game will actually stop you is if your health is super low. <laughs> is there stamina in the game? What the heck was going on here? The answer to that is no. It looks like we're all just stamina gods out here in the real world. In the game, you have a status screen that you can click on to see all of your stats. The stats you have in the game are health, attack, affinity, the element of the weapon that you're currently using, and your defense. Then you have any of your equipped skills listed below that. Do monsters still have the same elemental weaknesses they did in the main games? Yep. Do biomes affect which monsters spawn? Yep. And are there hunter's notes like in the main games? Yes. Each monster has notes on what their element is, what they're weak to, and what biomes they live in. And the notes also list what parts they drop. That way you always know like, okay, if you're fighting this monster, I'm gonna get this item. That way you're not wasting your time. And they even have pretty detailed notes on how to fight them. Can you dodge and block? Yes. But only for the weapons that you can actually block with. But you can dodge with every weapon. And can you mount monsters like in other games? No. There's no mounting in this game. I haven't seen wire bugs or clutch claws or anything like that. So yeah, no mounting. So those are some questions that I I've personally been asking and I figured you have too. So please like the video to support me and comment down below if there are any questions that you have that I didn't answer in this video and please subscribe so you can go on this hunting journey with me. Thank you all again for a thousand views in that last video and almost 40 subs. Thank you so much. But I'm gonna try and get home before it rains. <laughs>